Hey guys and welcome back to another Unmentioned Before tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over replication again and this one is going to be replicating a first person flashlight. So to start with I'm just going to do a flashlight and then the other half is going to be the first person flashlight as well because we want to be able to make it move as well on both server and client. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So I'm going to get in, just go over to this wall just so I have a reference for the flashlight to be on. First person for both of them and I'm playing as the client currently. I press F, you can see we have the flashlight come up, we can turn it on and off, and if we move about as well, the flashlight is going to work for all players connected online. Then we go to the server, do the same thing, so we can turn it on and off, and we can move it about as well. So this is going to work perfectly for what we want. We've got a flashlight which we can turn on and off, and move around as well, working for everyone that we want it to work for. So again, this is what we make today. So without further ado, let me delete this code, and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint which this flashlight is going to be in. So for me that's going to be third person BP, blueprints, and the third person character. And we're going to go to the viewport and we're going to add in our flashlight. So again I want this to be first person, so I'm going to select my first person camera, add a component, and I'm going to add a spotlight. Because that's what I want to use for my flashlight and just for the purpose of the tutorial I'm going to put the intensity all the way up like so. And I'll just bring it out forward a little bit like that. So that's what we need to do to add our flashlight. And there's one other thing we need to do as well. We can search for its details up on the top right, search for replicate, and we're going to tick component replicates. And that is going to really help us out making sure that this does work for what we want. So we can close that, compile, save, and go over to the event graph now. And this is only essential if you are switching between third and first person. You want to do this. If you're just in third or just in first person, this part doesn't matter. But essentially we want to make sure that we replicate the changing of the cameras. Now it doesn't have to be the whole process of changing the cameras, but essentially we just need to make sure that we're replicating this set use controller rotation your. So both server and clients know if it's true or false. And so what I've done is I've simply, when I press V to change the camera, it's going to call a custom event of change camera on server, which is set to replicate to run on server. That is going to call another custom event for change camera on client, which is replicated to multicast, and that is then going to switch cameras. So something along these lines is what you'd need. Again, that is just to switch between third and first. If you're just in one or the other, it doesn't matter. And so now the next thing we want to set up is actually toggling on and off the light. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just go over, find some empty space. I'm going to right click and get an F keyboard event. So you may already have this part set up of turning on and off your flashlight, and if so, then that's great. And out of press, I'm going to get a flip-flop, so we can go between A and B, or on and off. And I'm going to come back to that in a second. Because underneath it, what I'm going to do is right-click and add a custom event once again, naming this one Toggle Light on Client. And we want to make sure this is replicated to multicast, like so. And out of this is where we want to turn on and off the flashlight, so set its visibility. So I'm going to drag in my spotlight here, and out of this I'm going to simply get set visibility, connecting that into the custom event there, like so. And what I'm also going to do is drag the new visibility, dragging that into the custom event, like so. So now we can set this inside of this event, and we can transfer over this variable, so we know if we want to turn it on or off. I'm just going to rename this to be on question mark so if the light is on or off. I'm going to compile that and then above this I'm going to right click and add another custom event naming this one toggle light on server so we've got client and now we've got server and the replicates for this is going to be run on server and out of this what we're going to do is call function toggle light on client and we're also going to again drag the on boolean into the server custom event there like so, compiling that so we can again transfer this variable through. Now we're going to go back up to our flip-flop and A, we're going to toggle light on server and I'm going to duplicate this, connecting that into B as well. Now A, I want to tick on so that we are actually going to turn the light on when we press F for the first time and we're going to turn it off when we press it again for the second time. So again, what this is going to do is when we press F, it's going to turn the light on so it's going to call this function of server, so it's going to then call the function on client, so it's then going to actually turn it on or off depending on what we set. And again, we're doing it on the server and on all the connected devices so it works 
but everybody who is playing the game. So that's a nice little easy part set up, so that is just turning on and off the flashlight. Nice and simple to do, so now that should work for everybody playing. But what's going to happen now is the light isn't going to actually move for the other person. So the server will see it moving, the client won't, or the client will and the server won't, vice versa. So we want to fix that. So we're going to compile, save, and this is also a very simple fix. So where we ticked component replicates, that's going to work for the server, but we now also need to make it work for the client as well. So to do that, I'm going to again find some empty space, right click and get to the event tick node because we want to always be firing this off. Or you can optimize this a little bit and make sure it's only firing off when the flashlight is on, but since it's only going to be for this one thing, it's not going to matter too much. And out of this, we're going to get a switch has authority and we want to come out of the authority. So we're going to set relative rotation and this wants to be for our flashlight. So for me, that is just named spotlight there right at the very bottom. So we're going to make sure we're rotating it so it faces the correct direction we want it to face for this to work for us so it's moving about. And I only want to move it on the Y or the pitch because what we did earlier with this when we were replicating the use controller rotation yaw or if you just have it on already that is going to then do it on the yaw so left and right but up and down won't work so that's why we need to do the pitch or the Y so I'm going to right click the rotation and split the structure pin. So because we're only changing the Y we want to leave the X and Z the same. So to do that, we can again come out of the spotlight. So I'll move this up here, come out of spotlight, and we're going to get relative rotation. Make sure it's the relative rotation, not location, sorry, rotation there. And we're also going to right click and split this stretch pin, connecting in the X and Z into the according values. So again, it's going to stay the same as what it currently is. So we're not changing that. And then we want to get the Y value of where the player is looking. So to do that, we can right click and get the control rotation nice and simply because that is the rotation of the player's controller or the camera. And we're going to right click the return value, split the structure pin and connect in the Y or the pitch in like so. Again, very simple. That should be it now done and working for us. So we can compile, save and let's hit play to test this out. So one thing you can see is the lights are already on by default because what we also want to do is select our spotlight and change it to be visible is false so we're not going to see it by default so it's turned off one thing I just forgot to do it was still going to work but I just want it to be like this instead so I'm again going to go over to this wall just as a reference to look at the flashlight and I can turn it on and off for the client on and off for the server and I can also move it around for all of them as well working perfectly so over there over there and let's look at this one as well it's going to work moving about like so up down left right all about where we want it to go. So this works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video, which we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can turn on and off the flashlight and move it around up, down, left, right, everywhere we want it to go for both the server and client and everyone playing who has joined the game. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.